Pylobolis is an American modern dance company that began performing in October 1971. Pylobolis has performed over 100 choreographic works in more than 64 countries around the world, and has been featured on the 79th Annual Academy Awards, The Oprah Winfrey Show and Late Night with Conan O'Brien. Pylobolis Dance Theatre has three main branches, a touring company, Pylobolis, that creates new works through the International Collaborators Project, an educational programming arm that teaches the company's group-based creative process, and Pylobolis Creative Services, which offers movement services for film, advertising, publishing, commercial clients and corporate events. Topic. History Pylobolis is named after a phototropic fungus that Jonathan Walken's father was studying in a lab at the time of the company's inception. The fungus grows on cow dung and propels itself with extraordinary strength, speed and accuracy. Pylobolis was founded by a group of Dartmouth College students in 1971. It has long been based in Washington Depot, Connecticut with offices in New York City and Belgium. The company tours domestically and internationally, performing works from its over 100-piece repertory as well as new pieces, created at a pace of about two per year. The founding members were Robbie Barnett, Alison Becker Chase, Martha Clark, Lee Harris, Moses Pendleton, Michael Tracy, and Jonathan Walken. Harris departed around 1975, leaving six members, four men and two women. In November 1977, Pylobolis made its Broadway debut in a limited engagement at the St. James Theatre, to great acclaim. Arlene Crocher, writing in The New Yorker, praised the group as six of the most extraordinary people now performing. Martha Clark left in 1978. Pendleton left in 1990 after having collaborated with Chase in 1980 to form the offshoot group Momix. The four remaining founders Barnett, Chase, Tracy, and Walken continued as artistic directors, choreographing collectively and in various combinations in collaboration with new dancers brought into the company in subsequent years. Chase left in 2006 and has gone on to found her own company, Allison Chase Performance. Walken died in 2010. Pylobolis performances are characterized by a strong element of physical interaction between the bodies of the performers and exaggerations or contortions of the human form or other anthropomorphic forms, requiring extreme strength, flexibility, and athleticism. From early on, the company made a specialty of playful topsy-turvy entanglements that defied anatomical logic, and which sometimes gave rise to bizarre imagery. This approach broke new ground, and soon, even choreographers who did not consciously borrow from the group enjoyed new license in bringing bodies especially men, into closer physical contact than previously. In 1999, Pylobolis collaborated with Morris Sendak and Arthur Yorinks in the production of A Selection, a work with the Holocaust as its theme, documented in the film Last Dance. In 2004 the company was the subject of a feature profile on CBS's 60 Minutes. In 2007 Pylobolis appeared as performers in the television broadcast of the 79th Academy Awards. Their act was done in silhouette behind a white translucent screen, where they formed various figures at intervals during the show, first, the Oscar statue itself, then logos or scenes from various films, Happy Feet, Little Miss Sunshine, Snakes on a Plane, The Devil Wears Prada, and The Departed. At one point, they were introduced to the audience, wearing loose-fitting wraps. The act for Snakes on a Plane included host Ellen DeGeneres, who said afterwards, They're naked. Whether she was joking or serious was left to the imagination. Following the company's appearance on the 79th Academy Awards, Pylobolis's signature shapes and shadow work were featured in 2008 on the 39th season of Sesame Street, as well as on Late Night with Conan O'Brien and Oprah Winfrey. In October 2012, Pylobolis premiered Up! The Umbrella Project, the company's second collaboration with Daniela Roos and the MIT Distributed Robotics Laboratory, at the PopTech Conference in Camden, Maine. 
Untrained participants wielding umbrellas fabricated with multi-colored LED lights, created a performance piece together that was projected in real time on a large screen. This Pylobolus piece, like all of the modern performance companies work over the last 42 years, was born out of its proven method of collective creativity. Pylobolus appeared on the 7th of December 2016 episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, doing holiday silhouettes to the tune of Low Rider. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International Collaborators Project. In 2007, Pylobolus established the International Collaborators Project ICP, in which the dance company teams up with visiting artists annually to expand its unique collective choreographic process. To celebrate this inaugural event, Pylobolus artistic director Robbie Barnett invited star Israeli director and choreographer Inbal Pinto and her artistic collaborator, actor and designer Avshalom Pollock, that same year to join the company in its studios in Connecticut. Other ICP collaborators include musical duo Bella Fleck and Abigail Washburn, writer and illustrator, Morris Sendak, The Puppeteer, Basil Twist, Pulitzer Prize winner, comic artist Art Spiegelman, the Grammy-winning American composer and musician Dan Zanes, singer, composer David Poe, SpongeBob SquarePants head writer Stephen Banks, the Grammy-winning band OK Go, the MIT Distributed Robotics Laboratory directed by Professor Daniela Roos, the Japanese Butter choreographer Takuya Muramatsu of the troupe Derekudakan, WNYC's Radiolab with hosts Jada Bumrad and Robert Krulich, the MacArthur genius. Award-winning juggler Michael Moshin, the Belgian-Moroccan choreographer Sidi Labi Cherkawi, award-winning director and choreographer, Trish Z, master illusionists Penn and Teller, Israeli authors and filmmakers Etgar Karet and Shira Geffen, and multi-platinum songwriter, composer Alex Dezen. Topic. Educational programming Pylobolus classes and workshops use the art of collaborative choreography as a model for creative thinking in general. Pylobolus educational projects include a series of workshops for Avon Corporation in partnership with Deloitte, classes at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and at Dartmouth College's Tuck School of Business, and a program at the Babcock School at Wake Forest University. Every summer, the company offers several week-long adult workshops and runs a children's camp at its home in Washington Depot, Court. The company's youth development program, Movin, in partnership with the Schubert Theatre in New Haven, offers fully funded, month-long choreographic programs for middle school boys and girls. Based on Movin's success, Pylobolus has launched multiple programs for middle and high school students in New York City public schools. After co-founder Jonathan Wolken died in 2010, Pylobolus established the Jonathan Wolken Education Fund to help spread the spirit of his teaching and methods. Topic Pylobolus Creative Services Pylobolus Creative Services provides movement design and production for commercial applications in business and advertising. PCS has made television spots for Mobil, Ford, Toyota, Opel, Hyundai, Multicentrum, BBVA, Bidvest, and Procter & Gamble, including an Emmy-nominated piece for the NFL Network, and created live events for IBM, McKinsey, United Technologies, DuPont, Merck, and Google. PCS created and presented six acclaimed performances during the 79th Annual Academy Awards, and produced a series of original segments for The Oprah Winfrey Show and Late Night with Conan O'Brien. PCS produced two books for national distribution, Twisted Yoga and The Human Alphabet. Topic. Calendar and still photography Beginning in 2000, Pylobolus published an annual wall calendar featuring original photography created to further explore and celebrate the company's artistic sensibility. An introductory text to the 2008 calendar noted that the company had been experimenting with still photography since the 1980s to address the question, how can one select individual moments from a continuum and have them retain meaning? 
The introduction also noted that the group's choreographic inquiry is driven by a fascination with images that are, or become, the fundamental units of our physical vocabulary, rather than attempting to document their live performances. The calendar photo shoots represented a sort of annual gallery of our evolving understanding of the relationship between choreographic and photographic expression. Almost all of the calendars, which were produced for 11 consecutive years from 2000 to 2010 and again in 2012, were photographed by John Kane, the company's longtime friend and collaborator on photography projects. An exception was the 2009 Pilobolis calendar, created while the company was on tour in Israel in January 2008, in collaboration with the Israeli consulate in New York. Photographer Robert Whitman captured Pilobolis in a variety of colorful Israeli landscapes, including the Dead Sea, Old Jaffa, markets in Jerusalem, Hot Springs, and the streets of Haifa. Topic. Shadowland After its Shadow Theatre performance on the 79th Annual Academy Awards, Pilobolis embarked on the creation of an evening-length movement theatre piece titled Shadowland. It was created in collaboration with Stephen Banks, head writer for the hit Nickelodeon show SpongeBob SquarePants, and singer-songwriter David Poe, who wrote the score. To date, Shadowland has sold over 450,000 tickets worldwide. Topic. Company As of 2018, the Pilobolis Company is composed of Nathaniel Bushbaum, Isabella Diaz, Zach Eisenstadt, Quincy Ellis, Jacob Warren, Crystal Butler, and dance captain Heather Favretto. Itamar Kabovi is group executive producer and Rene Jaworski and Matt Kent serve as co-artistic directors. Topic. See also Momix Dance Company Mumenchance Dance Company Zentai Costuming <laughs>